Hey Simplies and welcome back to another video. Today is currently about, I don't know, almost 11 o'clock. But I woke up to this idea and I'm like, you know what? This is something that I've never done. Why not do it? Why not bring it to the channel? Why not let you guys see this? I'm going to be going to the Dollar Tree and I'm going to be trying some hair care products to see if I can create a bomb wash and go using off-brand products. You can't sleep on them off-brand products because I have tried some in the past and I got bomb ass results. A lot of times we're so used to the name and we're so, we follow trends of everybody of what everybody's really doing you know main choice meal organics camille rose eden body works the list goes on and on and on yes they have great products but sometimes those products that we're paying for do not give us the results that our hair requires everybody has different hair types hair textures everybody requires different needs for the hair so today i'm gonna just shoot my shot i'm gonna take y'all with me to the dollar tree i'm gonna pick out some products i'm gonna come back here and i'm gonna show you guys from start to finish exactly how my hair looks and hopefully we get a bomb result then your girl gonna be saving a lot of change i'm gonna have more coins in my pocket if you know like I know being a curly hair you're gonna have to spend some money the products is not cheap they are not cheap whatsoever so that's what we're gonna be doing today so if you're excited to see how my hair comes out give this video a thumbs up make sure you subscribe to my channel and click the bell so you never miss when I upload come on put your shoes on put your jacket on and let's go to the Dollar Tree all right y'all so I made it in the Dollar Tree let's see what they got the lighting is trash in here trash money um, all right, we're gonna see what they got. It's looking like this, the shelves is low stock. I need a good shampoo and a good conditioner. I have tried VO5 in the past, but um, I only use the conditioner, I never really use the shampoo. What's this? No, I don't like it when it's shampoo and conditioner. I need a shampoo in it. What's this? Hold up. Oh, this is for blondies. This ain't for me. But I like the I like the presentation. It's pretty. But um, we might try it. Let me find out. They got Pantene in here. Okay. Oh uh oh. Look, y'all. They got Pantene in here. Stop playing. This is bomb. Just so y'all know, this the tingling milk is bomb. I really like this one. Uh, the shelves are empty, y'all. They look really empty. Mm. Where's the shampoo to this? I need a shampoo and a conditioner match. I might go with this, the VO5 Passion Fruit. It has soy milk protein in it. Nah, I don't think I want that. No matching. I don't want coconut. I don't want that. I don't want that. All right, I can't find nothing, so I'm probably just gonna go with this one and. It doesn't look too bad because it says it's formulated for blonde, silver, or highlighted hair. Moisturizes over processed hair to help restore. And I do have color hair, so. And it's made for color treated hair. Sulfate free, paraben free, cruelty free, and all that good stuff. So we probably gonna go with these two. Boom. I found both of them. All right, so we are gonna go with these. Now we need some stylers, some leave-ins, and maybe some oils. So they have two different styles for the leave-in. This one's like for frizz control and then this one is like an instant repair. So I'm probably gonna go with this one, the blue one, cause it has argan oil from Morocco and I like the way argan oil works. So we got the leave-in. And now I'm need, I need like a gel. So I'm probably gonna go with this gel. There was two different gels. It was in between, they don't really have a lot, but they have a lusty olive oil gel and then they have a super look extreme hole gel. And it's kind of reminds me of the, like the wet line extreme gel that I use. So I'm probably going to go with this one. I don't know. So I can't find any oil, but I wanted to put you guys on if you have a Dollar Tree in your area. Look at this. This is the scalp massager. It's similar to the one that I have posted in one of my other videos, but this is only 99 cents. So you need to come here and get this because it definitely does the job. I did find an edge gel and I'm not really too big on the edge gels, but why not try it? It has shea butter, edge gel. Again, it's by Lusty. They need to clean these damn shelves off. These shelves is dirty. Like, they need to do better in this Dollar Tree. Y'all are looking real bad out here. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I might try this one. Softy Team and Texture Perfect Edge Control. We're going to go with this one. Let's get more for our money because that other one was just smaller. All right, guys. So, I got everything that I need. So, we're about to cash out. And I'll see you guys when I get back to the house. All right, guys. So, I'm back home. As you can tell, I'm in the shower. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wet my hair up. The shampoo I'm going to be trying first supposed to be sulfate free so it doesn't have any of those harsh ingredients i didn't realize i had all these damn bio pins in my head i 
It has a very thick consistency. Almost like gel. Wow. Is this gel? It's now or never. It's now or never. It kind of smells like um cinnamon gum. It don't smell like oh they straight cat. It's supposed to be coconut oil and geranium, geranium oil. I don't know what that is. And I'm just gonna do my scalp because that's where most of my buildup is. I'm scared to put it on my ends because I don't know about it yet. But so far, it feels like any other shampoo. It's not feeling like anything too crazy. You can tell when you wash it out. That's when you get the real full effect because when you use a shampoo that's not good, your hair will feel stripped. One thing I'm noticing is that it's not really sudsing up a lot. So I kind of had to go in and reapply it like four or five times just to get my hair to even like suds up. I even added more water to my hair and it's not really sudsing up. I don't know what's going on, but I don't want to put too much. And I find that weird because usually when you put a shampoo in your hair and the water touches it, once the, the product is all out of your hair, your hair will suds up, but um, this is as good as I'm getting. I'm only gonna wash it once because this is suspect because I don't know why my hair is not sudsing up. So my hair, mm, it feels a little dry, but it doesn't feel stripped. I don't feel like it's like, it doesn't give me that like my hair is stripped, oh my God, I need a protein treatment type of thing. It does feel a little kind of matted towards the back but it's not, it's definitely not what I expected it to be. So now I'm going to go in with the conditioner. I don't know about y'all, but I use a lot. Oh, this smells good. It smells like baby magic, baby lotion. It's creamy, but it's not thick. Mm. Oh, that was a knot. That was a knot, y'all, that was a knot. Hold on, you know what? I'm not about to play. We about to just pour this whole thing in here because ain't nobody got time. I wish you could feel my hair right now. My hair feels like a cotton ball. This is gonna be, this is big because this is gonna determine if we are gonna rock with these products or not because of my wash and go and how my wash and go is. I'm gonna throw these in the garbage. Now I'll be using a frizz control leave-in conditioner. This is very creamy and thick. Well, hold on. Y'all smell this. Oh my God. It's like a light perfume, kind of like, kind of like Calvin Klein perfume but not too strong, but the slip, wow. Stop playing with me. Okay, salon selectives come through. Y'all know the process. You gotta coat all them strands. That's why it's good to work in sections so that you really make sure that you get every, every piece coated, but you know what, it's all right. My hair's a little shorter, so. Last, we're gonna go in with the Super Look Extreme Gel. My gels need to be thick because if my gels ain't thick, I already know I can tell off the rip. I can already tell off the rip if it's gonna work or it's not gonna work. It smells like watermelon. It smells like y'all, what y'all think? You see that? You see that? Okay. 
doesn't have too much slip, but it's thick. So I know that it's gonna hold my hair down, especially my roots, because that's the main issue what, that I have with my hair is my roots get really puffy once they're dry and I can't stand that. But it does feel heavy, wow, it's very heavy. Feels like I have like hair ties on my hair. I need a lot of definition. Not too much slip though. And if your hair is like kind of hard to curl or you're struggling with a little bit of damage or some curls are not as defined, you can just go in and finger coil like this. So you're basically gonna just take your hair and twist it and it gives it that really curly illusion. Kind of helps to enhance your curls. Baby. Wow. This is amazing. Look at the shine, y'all. I didn't even put no oil in my hair yet. And when you work in sections like this and you kind of just take each curl, the curls that are clumped together and just give it a coil, it really, it really helps to bring your curls out. And it prevents them from like really clumping together too much. As you can see, as I pull it apart, you can tell which ones you need to, you know, coil. But this is crazy. Wow. Okay, so I'm just gonna do this on the other side. So this is how my curls are looking right now. I'm not gonna put the edge control in yet until my hair is done, cause it's just gonna be pointless. I'm gonna have to reapply it again. You kind of want to put the edge control on when your hair is dry. So I'm just going to wash my body, do what I need to do. So far, I'm, your girl is, I'm still like, this is crazy. All this time, I've been wasting my money. And I could have been just, I could have been hitting up the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree was the plug the whole time. Really? All right, y'all. So let me wash my butt and I'll be back once my hair is fully dry. Okay, guys. So these are the final results. And your girl is still like, what? I really cannot believe how amazing my curls look. My hair is like, I'm capping y'all. My hair is like 95% dry, but I, I was so thirsty to come on and show you guys the results. I just couldn't believe it. The last step that I normally do when I'm done styling my hair is I go in with my Eco Styling Gel to slay my edges. But for today, I will be using Mr. Softy's Team and Texture Perfect Edge Control. Oh no, they, they got, no they didn't y'all. Tell me how they only gave me half a jar. I don't think I can see it. Wow. How y'all give me, how y'all do me like that? How y'all just give me half a jar? I'm not gonna really style them because my you can't even tell. So I just wanted to see if it was gonna hold it down. Oh, but that's the point. We're not gonna worry about the design. We just wanna make sure they slate. They just lay down. Gotta lay them edges. I don't care how you wear your hair, you gotta lay them edges. I forgot to show you guys this, but I did get lucky and I found some oil when I was leaving. As I was walking out the Dollar Tree, I found some Softy Signature Thickening Revitalizing Repair Formula for Thick. Repairs damage for thick, shiny, more manageable hair. It contains olive oil, shea butter, vitamins A, D3, and E. Just gonna put a few drops. You don't wanna get too crazy, because I don't, I don't like greasy hair, so. That was really good. Mm, mm, mm. Fluffy, soft, and I only pay $5 for all of these products. I'm very excited to say that I love my results. I was very pleased with every single product. The least favorite product was the shampoo. Conditioner was my absolute favorite because you have to put more than you need to. It doesn't really, it's not like a little goes a long way. You kind of have to like saturate your hair, but I do that anyway. Great for detangling, great slip, great smell. The leave-in was bomb. The leave-in has so much slip, so much glide to it. So easy to apply it in the gel. Y'all already know, gels is my, if the gel ain't working, the gel gave me so much definition. It was so heavy and my hair likes heavy products. So as you can tell, my curls are loving the products. Not for nothing, but it just goes to show you that you don't need to spend a lot of money to get bomb results. You need to try things and kind of just experiment and stuff like that. And you don't need to start off by spending a thousand dollars on a product that may not even really work for your hair so if you guys like my hair comment down below what you think thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video